everyone, I'm Steven Wagner, and I'm sitting here with... Johan van Amersfoort. So we're sitting here at VMware Explorer 2024, and it's definitely a different one. There's been some uh, changes in attendance, but there's also been a big change in the play with the products uh, that we've been talking about. Um, as far as technology goes, the big rage is all about VCF. It's all about AI. And uh, Johan, you had uh, two sessions uh, talking about AI in particular, if you want to tell yeah, us about it. Yeah, definitely. Shall I hold the mic? Yeah. Yeah, so I, uh, uh, I pre presented a couple of sessions. Uh, two of them, one um, kind of focused on how to start your own AI journey uh, and not specifically focused on Gen AI, what everyone is talking about, but uh, I was actually showing how to run a, uh, a computer vision workload based on NVIDIA DeepStream on a cluster of Jetson Nanos. Uh, pretty nerded out on uh, on how I built it, uh, what the uh, spouse acceptance factor was, uh, was, lo was looking like, uh, the investment, stuff like that. And it also was kind of um, a segue into another session I presented, uh, which was focused on private AI foundation. So, uh, the platform based on VCF and NVIDIA AI Enterprise, which lets you run AI workloads in an enterprise-grade manner uh, with supportability, with security, with all sorts of requirements in mind, uh, streamlining, uh, scalability. And um, I showed how we implemented um, Private AI Foundation in our own organization, ITQ, uh, and how we integrated the, uh, the platform with our uh, Teams um, uh, solution, or and you know, it's fairly easy to integrate it with Slack as well. So I show Teams, but I sh also showed the extensibility of it. So yeah, it was a pretty fun session with uh, a lot of great feedback, and uh, it's also a session um, which I hope to present oh, in in uh, in coming events like GTC or um, uh, in Barcelona, and something that you continuously can work on uh, because it's you know AI is cool, but a model continuously improves, um, and new features c come out every um, uh, almost every month. And that was also one of the key takeaways here at uh, at Explore because yes, VCF nine was uh, was the was uh, announced, but also uh, the Tanzu platform version ten. Um, and there's a, a huge presence when it comes to uh, not just Tanzu but also Spring. Uh, uh, Spring One is here as, uh, at the conference as well, which is a, a one or two day conference specifically focused on Spring. And one of the things they, they showed here was Spring AI and how it enables developers to easily consume a model uh, and consume AI related services with the Spring framework. Yeah. yeah, so it's all pretty cool stuff. And I actually had the chance to sit in both of Johan's sessions and I got to say it's pretty cool. Uh, provides a lot of value as far as uh, the, the individuals that want to start getting into this and start practicing it, but it's also great for the concepts for organizations to start using it. And uh, you and I talked yesterday when you were doing some uh, recording for your podcast, yeah. and uh, you know th this is one of the big gaps is that everyone wants to implement AI, but no one knows how to do it. Um, but fortunately, we're we're at the point now where you know we can start having package solutions that allows organizations to easily bring this in, especially some of the smaller organizations that didn't necessarily have the budget. Uh, to uh, to develop in house, and so now they've got partners like ITQ. I'm hoping to dabble in it as well too. So you know, <laughs> but but uh, it's, it's it's great. It's it's really fun stuff, and I think you did a fantastic job with your presentations. Um, as always, you're a great storyteller, and and uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you. Um, now on the uh, on the flip side of things, um, it's definitely a different feeling this year. Um, the conference size is a little bit different. The attendance numbers are a little bit different. Um, and like I said at the beginning of this video, the, the, the products are, are a little bit different. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, so I think um, there's a couple of things happening right here. Uh, so we were wandering around the show floor yesterday and you can actually, you can feel that the, the conference is, uh, has less attendance, but um, it's, a, um, it's, it's basically twofold. So on one hand, we can in, indeed feel that the, the, the attendance is lower, but when looking at the messaging, the general messaging at Explore is that um, Broadcom is going to focus on private cloud, private cloud only. And uh, it makes things very simple. Uh, there's, uh, there's more focus and what we know from ITQ is that focus will bring you success one way or the other. Um, and I think that the focus sim simplifies also um, uh, what you're seeing here. So we did indeed saw a lot of 
you see vendors still uh, they're they're trying to um, uh, to work with their with Broadcom's cost customers to see how they can can bring in EUC related services into their organization but there's a lot of storage vendors uh, there are some OEMs uh, there are still uh, some hyperscalers and mostly focused on that private cloud solution um, running VCF in cloud and um, I think when you take VCF as their main focus point and the workload that's going to can run on top of that, uh, the, the, the Tenzu platform, the Spring platform, um, Private AI Foundation, I think it makes the narrative very simple and also um, it has a simpler go-to-market. You know, we, we both are uh, working from a partner perspective and I think in the last 12 months we had a, I won't say a challenge, but it was sometimes difficult to understand what the future of the Broadcom uh, portfolio, specifically the VMware portfolio, um, had in store. And now, it, it, in the last 36 hours, everything became perfectly clear. Uh, and also looking at the Tenzu platform. I, know, I mean, um, Tenzu, Cloud Foundry, uh, their open source, um, uh, the work that they do in the, the open source um, uh, scene, it was kind of, not really following a, a single storyline. And uh, since yesterday, uh, especially during the Cloud Native keynote, that also became perfectly clear. So I am, to be fairly honest, I am, I'm quite positive about the future of VMware and the, and the solutions. And I'm looking forward to, to Barcelona because I think they're gonna follow up on you know, the storyline that they presented this week. And um, uh, in, a, in a couple of month, months time, a lot can happen. So. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm very positive to, uh, to be fairly honest. What yeah. about you? Yeah, no, I agree 100%. So the, the, the big push, and just like you mentioned with the, uh, the initial uncertainty in, in, the, uh, in the markets right now with what the strategy was going to be, we found it very apparent that it's all about simplification. And, you know, both of us have an EUC background. And when it comes to EUC and BDI, it's always about simplification. Yeah. And so with VCF, with simplifying and focusing on a solution, instead of a whole bunch of different products that you have to integrate, it's all done, it's all bundled together, and you know, it's just, uh, it, it solidifies the, uh, the, the end goal that Broadcom has and wants to make available for customers to take advantage of. So it's, uh, it's definitely good and definitely a lot of fun. Cool. Yeah. But it, I, I do have to say, uh, one, I'm very jealous that you're going to Barcelona, I wish I was going. And two, it, it does feel different not having the uh, the EUC yeah, yeah, focus. I, I do miss that. And it's not just the, the focus, it's also our community, our friends, our EUC family. Um, like you always bump into people and um, yeah, and that's definitely something I miss right now. Yeah, yeah. And you know, just, and just as a final note to wrap this up, um, I, I always have to say community is very important. Um, you need to get out to these events, even if you're unhappy what's going on with the, the, the current market and the way things are going. Nothing stays the same forever. I've said this a million times. Um, you, you gotta get out here, you gotta see your friends, you gotta engage with the community, and you gotta find out where all this technology is going because no matter what, it's gonna be a part of our life. Change, so, change is the only constant. It's, yeah. it's uh, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, it's never good when things get stale. Yeah. So, Johan, I appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you too, and uh, enjoy the rest of the conference. You as well. Yeah. Thanks everyone.